Hi mga best! Welcome back to my channel. My name is X. If you don't know me, and obviously I have a new video. I have been really, really um, hyped to make new videos as of late. So here's something that I, or here's a look that I have managed to do um, today for all of you. I actually am really out of out of um, ideas to, to film. However, I have stumbled upon a photo of uh, Snow White on my Instagram feed or somewhere in the interwebs. So I was inspired by Snow White for today's looks. It's really a classic look with um, a classic smoky eye. Um, I used some blacks on my eye and this is or this has been the first time that I used you know a really dark um, color or black on my under eye area or my lower lid because I'm not really fond of um, using black so and I also am not fond of using red lipstick most of the products that I have used as well on this video are actually affordable and drugstore products so without further ado if you'd like to know how I managed to have this look for today please keep on watching so starting off with my city color barely exposed palette I will be using that bone colored shade that one in there to set the concealer on my eyelid and I'm just doing windshield wiper motions on each eyelid uh, like so and yeah, we just need to make sure that, yeah. So next is our crease color. And I'll be using that brown, kind of brown, kind of gray shade from the same palette. By the way, this palette is said to be a dupe for the Naked 3, if I'm not mistaken. And again, I'm just using windshield wiper motion. And going into that black shade over there, I will be deepening the color of my outer corner or on the outer corner of my eyelid like so. And I'm just, you know, packing that black color on that area over there. And just need to make sure that um, we just clean the fallout on our face after. Then I'm um, going back to that brown shade and using a fluffy brush. I'm just blending everything together and just diffusing it on the outer edges, if you know what I mean. I'm just, you know blending it out there I don't know how to explain it but just like so and going into that champagne color on the palette and using like a flat brush I'm sorry there are a lot of dogs in the neighborhood I'm just trying to um, do a semi cut crease on my on the center of my lid yeah I just need to or we just need to make sure that it goes over like my crease because I have hooded eyelids so just pack that color in there it's really a nice um, champagne -y. like it's like a pearl color and uh, Next is we need to curl our eyelashes using my, um, I don't know how much is that. I believe that's from Watson's and I believe that's really, really cheap. And it has been with me for a long time now. And yeah, we just need to curl it up very much. And <laughs> using my Fashion 21 mascara is a local brand. One of my favorites. Just need to like put a coat or two of mascara on our 
yeah, look at that. On our lashes before we put on the falsies. Just so it has, or the falsies have something to cling into, if you know what I mean. And by the way, this is the first ever um, video that I made that I included uh, myself or the clip of me putting on falsies on camera. So that's the first for me. And I'm so happy about that, but I'm still really struggling because I'm not an expert on these kinds of things. There, so it it took me a really long time to put that um, false eyelashes on my right eye. And yeah, um, let's proceed to our left eye. And apparently, I'm still struggling to put it on. I'm just, you know, I, or I just made sure that the glue is already tacky before I um, put the falsies on, if you know what I mean. And I'm just, you know, using that tweezer over there. And let's go to the face. Uh, I'm using my favorite witch hazel spray from Beauty Bakery, also a local brand, one of my favorites. Actually, it's the only favorite facial mist of mine. Alright, so uh, for primer, I will be using my, well, another favorite that's really, really cheap. I believe it's only 99 pesos. That's the Quick Effects Mattifying Primer. And I'm just priming the usual areas of my face which is a lot of pores, most especially my nose and that area over there on my cheeks. Then for foundation, I will be using my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I believe it's... I forgot the shade. I don't know. It's like 125 Nude Beige, if I'm not mistaken. Then I will be blending it in using my Eco Tools Sponge like so I really love this foundation because it has a dewy finish and um, even though I have oily skin it does not take on my skin and um, yeah if you know what I mean it just looks natural please take a shot for the times that I have been saying if you know what I mean and I decided to add another layer of the foundation because we are going for, you know, the snow white look. We have to hide our pores and our imperfections because snow white is perfect like that gunner. Right, so we just go ahead and blend everything and pray that it covers the freckles on my face. For concealer, I'll be using my favorite color pop no filter concealer in the shade. Oh, balik that. It's fair neutral, I believe. And I just conceal the usual areas of my face, which needs concealing, especially my under eye, because yeah, I have dark under eye circle and to set everything together I'll be using my BLK cosmetics powder sorry I forgot to show you the shade I believe that's light beige it has a bit of coverage so again we are aiming for the snow white look so I chose a powder with coverage and going back to that brown shade on my barely exposed palette, I'll be finishing my under eye area. I'm just, you know, packing that thing over there. And, um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we just make sure that we put it closest 
to our lash line or the lower lash line as possible and going back to that black shade um, for your information by the way this palette doesn't have um, shade names for the shades so that's like the black shade and going back to our mascara I'm just putting some on my lower lashes uh, I love um, a bushy lower lash if you know what I mean and I'm just you know struggling to put some mascara on that area uh, yeah for contouring I'll be using my elf contouring palette or contour palette and I'll be using the darkest shade to contour our face just you know using that angled brush to apply the product evenly make sure that you contour your jaw and that double chin over there and I just like to contour or emphasize that divided something on my chin and yeah using the bronzer on the palette I'll also be bronzing my face <laughs> did you hear that perp over there and to contour the nose I'll go back to the darkest shade or on the contouring shade from the palette and I'm just using an angled I believe that's an eyeshadow brush like so I'm just you know trying to snatch my nose over there and to perfect my nose contour I'm just um, using that yellow powder over there to set and for blush I'm just using that nice mauve blush from my Everbilena uh, palette it's really really cheap but it's really really good I believe it's only 189 pesos and for highlighter I'm using my favorite Mary Luminizer my favorite Mary Luminizer is my favorite thing now Tarot Gunner and I'm just using um, a fan brush to apply my highlighter and yeah we just need to highlight the high points of our face like the tip of our nose and our um, cupid's bow also I use Mary Lou Manizer to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone like so I'm just using a little tiny brush over there and for lips I'll be using the L'Oreal um, star collection if I'm not mistaken that's the Frida Pinto shade I believe it's called pure rouge so yeah um, that's the last part of the video and uh, well I hope that you like it please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and I will see you all on my next videos I love you all Mwah.